In this video, I will show you how you can mine crypto on Ubuntu 22.04 using an AMD graphics card. First, we will set up and configure the system, then we will search for coins that we can mine and then we will mine those. This video is not financial advice, I'm just showing you how to mine crypto on Linux. Before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find everything about Linux, Docker, game dev and software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. I made a similar video a while ago and there I mined Ethereum on Ubuntu 20.04. Since then, things changed in the crypto space and also in Ubuntu. At the time of recording, we cannot mine Ethereum anymore. And also on Ubuntu, we cannot use OpenCL out of the box, which is necessary if you want to mine with AMD GPUs. Of course, there is a workaround, so let's see how we can configure the system. First, let's see how we can mine and then what we can mine. First, we need to install the AMD GPU driver, so let's go to the AMD website. This is the latest AMD GPU driver at the time of recording and we are interested in Ubuntu 22.04. So click on it. This downloaded the dev package. Let's open the folder. Here it is. And now we will need to open the terminal here. And I will dock this to the right and the browser to the left. Now on the same page down here, open the installation instructions. We downloaded the package and now we want to install. All right, here are the installation instructions. I'm using Ubuntu. So let's copy that one and paste it here and I want to install AMD dev package and enter install and now we need to do sudo apt get update copy this one paste here perfect we are done here so let's go back now let's see how to use the script and here if you scroll down we are interested only in the OpenCL part so there are two OpenCL implementations there is the rock r implementation and the legacy implementation which is proprietary we will install both and down here you can see the option that we need. So let's copy that and just paste it into the terminal for now. But don't execute anything just yet. Now since we are installing also the proprietary part, if you scroll down, we also need to add this part here. So this part will auto accept the end user license agreement. So copy that one and I will paste it here at the beginning. Don't execute just yet, just leave it in the terminal like that. Now go back. Now let's see how to install the AMD GPU stack. Again, we are only interested in OpenCL, this part here. And the option that we need is a bit hidden in the text here, this one. Use case equals OpenCL. Copy that one and paste it into the terminal. And that's about it. Now we just need to execute this one as sudo. You can also find this command down in the description. Let's execute it. Enter. This will now take about 20 minutes. Just be patient. All right, installed. Next, we need to add the user to the render group. So copy this one, paste it here and execute. And we need to add the user to the video group. So copy that one and execute. And now I will, in addition, install CL info. Perfect. And now we can just reboot back in Ubuntu. And now let's open the terminal. Now let's see if OpenCL is working. So write CL info and enter. As you can see here, it is kind of working, but it's stuck. It cannot get the full info. That's why the terminal is still blocked. Otherwise, CL info would just return to the terminal. But in this case, it's obviously stuck. So let's just press Control C to kill it. OpenCL is not working here because the latest kernel version at the time of recording in Ubuntu is not compatible with the AMD driver. So if I check the kernel, you name dash A. This is the latest kernel at the time of recording, 5.15, and this one unfortunately does not work with the AMD GPU driver. And that means that we will need to use a different kernel version. Let's close the terminal. The easiest way to change the kernel version on Ubuntu is to use a tool called Mainline. This is Mainline, and it's not installed on Ubuntu by default, so I made a whole video about it, how to install the tool, how to change the kernel version. In this video, I will assume that you know how to change the kernel version on Ubuntu, but if you don't, you can check the link to the video up there or down in the description. Now here, let's find the installed kernel version. Here it is, and as you can see, I have five versions installed. We know that OpenCL does not work with 5.15 kernel, so the best would be to try out an older kernel version, for instance, the latest 5.14 kernel. As you can see, I already installed that one. 
In the mentioned previous video I'm installing exactly this kernel version and that's the one that we will use in this video as well. So since I already installed that one I just need to boot into it and if you don't know how to install that one check out the video link down in the description. Now to boot with this new kernel you need to restart your machine and then you should get the grub boot menu. If you did not change any settings the boot menu should open by default. In the menu you should see advanced options, select that and then you should see a list of all the installed kernel versions. There you should find also this version 5.14, just select it and it should boot with this new kernel. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you in a moment. Back in Ubuntu, let's check the kernel. Open the terminal and write your name dash A. And yes, we are running the older version 5.14.21. Now let's check if OpenCL is working. Write CL info and enter. Now as you can see, OpenCL returned and you should see an output like this. All right, we are all set up. Now let's see what we can mine. Let's close the terminal and open Firefox. If you don't know what to mine, then you should definitely check out this site to CryptoCalc. You can find the link down in the description. Here you can select your GPU model. Let's say I'm using this one, the AMD 5600XT, one graphics card. And down here you will see a list of the top most profitable coins to mine on this two miners pool. And here in the green column you can see the daily profit that you can make if you mine with this one particular GPU, in my case. Now of course this list changes as the price of the coin changes. But right now it looks like Bitcoin Gold is the most profitable coin to mine. Now let's see how we can mine those. Click for instance on Bitcoin Gold. Here you can see some statistics and if you scroll down you can also see the list of miners that can mine Bitcoin Gold together with the command lines which start the miner. You can also compare all miners if you scroll to the top and select mining software comparison. Here you will see a table of all miners and some of the coins that they can mine and also the percentage fee that you will pay to the miner from your reward. That's also what it says down here at the bottom. Green means it supports only Nvidia, red means it supports only AMD and a mix of both means it supports AMD and Nvidia. In this video we will try out the LOL miner, so click on that one. And here select download LOL miner and download. And this brings us to the LOL miner GitHub page. The latest version at the time of recording is 1.61, so let's download that one. We want the Linux version, click on it. Download complete, let's open the folder. Here it is, now right click on it, extract here. Let's go inside. Now here you can see different scripts that will mine different coins. For instance this one will mine Ergo, this one will mine Flux and this one for instance will mine Bitcoin Gold. We saw Bitcoin Gold is the most profitable right now, so let's try to mine this one. So right click on the script, go to properties, permissions and make sure the execute checkbox is checked. In my case it already is, so I can close that. Let's see what's inside the script, right click on it, open with text editor. This is how it looks like, we can see it's mining Bitcoin gold. And the most important thing here is the wallet address. You will need to replace this one with your wallet address, but for this demonstration I will leave this one as it is. I will just mine with this wallet and probably make this guy happy. We can close the script and now we can execute it. Let's open the terminal here, click on the three dots opening terminal. All right and now we just need to run the script mine underline btg.sh. Let's try it out. Enter. It has detected my GPU so that's okay and the miner is starting. Now we are getting an average hash rate of 28 solutions per second and finally we are also getting rewarded. So that's awesome. If you want to stop the miner just press ctrl c and we are back to the terminal. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me, it makes the channel grow. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.